today. Today I'm going to be reviewing this beer that I got at Lidl, that discount store that's got some fabulous beers. This one is a Belgian triple ale called Bronzenschild. It's 11.2 fluid ounces and comes in at a whopping 10.5% alcohol. I think I paid $9 for the four pack. So for that much alcohol, that's a steal. Now normally when I buy these beers, I don't like to try them until I review them. Unfortunately in this case, uh, it came in a four pack and I drank three of them already. Not today, but over the last two weeks I drank those three. So this is the last one. So I kind of know going into it that when I open this cap on this bottle, it's going to want to start spewing. Uh, not being shaken up or anything, but the last three that I've opened, every time I popped the cap, it foamed over. So hopefully I don't have a mess here, but I'm predicting that I probably will. So when I open it, I'm going to hurry up and try to get it into the glass. Yep, here she comes. Yeah. One thing to be careful of if you do buy this beer. Once you... Uh, once you pop that cap, you're going to have a gusher, and you don't want to make a mess. So learn from my mistake. It wasn't really my mistake. I didn't do anything wrong. It's just that when I opened it uh, in the kitchen, uh, first one, it just overflowed. I thought maybe I shook it a little bit while I was carrying it from the garage to the, to the kitchen. But the next one I did, boom, it popped open, and I said, I know I didn't shake it. So the third one, I said, let me pay attention. Pop the cap. I was gentle with it the whole way. Pop the cap and whoop, there come the foam. So, just know, be forewarned, that if you get the Belgian Triple Ale Bronzen Skilled beer, it is going to be a gusher if you open it. So make sure that you're uh, prepared. This has a nice, nice color. Nice reddish color. Mm, that off-white head that's it's not throwing off too much of an aroma. But like I say, I am going into this knowing how this one tastes. So I know that it does have a very, very good taste. Let's see what it says here. With notes of plums and cherries, the bronze, the bronze and skilled triple ale uses a unique fermentation process that delivers outstanding flavor. Belgian brewing techniques date back many centuries to when monks brewed beer. These old world techniques still influence the rich, full bodied flavor of bronze and shield that is sought after around the globe. So, monks do make some fantastic beer. Oh, that's a beautiful color. Holding it up to the light, it's a nice deep red. Cheers. Yeah, right off the bat, you get the sweetness. You get the sweetness of those dark fruits, you know, like, like a plum, and it's a sweetness. And then you get 10.5% uh, alcohol. You taste it, and but it's not overwhelming. It's not overpowering. It's it kind of is a nice um, balance between the sweetness of that fruit and and the beer itself. It kind of evens it out. If, if it didn't have that high alcohol content and that taste of the alcohol in your tongue, this would probably be too sweet. But the fact that it's there, it kind of counterbalances it makes it taste delicious. Yeah, it's definitely, it's on the sweeter side. So, for a beer that looks like this, you know, it is not bitter. Not bitter at all. There's nothing at all bitter about this beer. This is just a nice, dark, sweeter beer that has 10.5% alcohol in it. So this will get you there 
and it will get you there quickly. So I can tell you that from these, I always feel it. I drink one of these, I always feel it. And like I said, I don't drink to get drunk anymore. When I drink, if I drink one of these, I'm good to go. I don't need to have another one five minutes after I finish this one. I mean, mm. yeah. And like I say, for the price, uh, it was $9 for four pack. So if you're talking something that's $10 a four pack, you're talking $2.50 a bottle. So this is a little bit less than $2.50 for this bottle. But you're getting 10.5% alcohol in it. So one of these will do more than what three Bud Lights will do for you. And plus, if you're, like I say, if you're a Bud Light guy, your body's kind of used to Bud Light, you could probably drink six Bud Lights and be fine. But I guarantee you, you drank one of these, you're feeling it. Hmm. That's got a great flavor. It's not a traditional beer flavor by any means because it is on the, on the sweeter side. So unless you like, you know, and I don't know, I, I, I know that Bud Light makes a, a lime beer, they make a, a orange beer, other, other, you know, Bush, I think I've seen Bush makes an orange beer now. So a lot of these, uh, you know, the mainstream, the big beers um, companies are going off on these different tangents trying to stay relevant because I know now like the hard seltzers are a big thing you know <laughs> I've tried them it's just not my it's not my style not my thing um, but everybody wants to stay relevant so you know somebody comes out with a product that does extremely well everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon so that's why everybody under the sun is making these hard seltzers now um, but this where is this out of let's see product of Belgium so this is a Belgian beer once again, I'd never heard of it. Got it from Lidl. And I say, for being a smaller store, at least here in America, with Aldi and, and Lidl, uh, they've got some really, really good beers. They don't have a huge selection of them, but the beers that they do sell have been really great. Great price, great flavor. It's been just a great all-around beer buying place. Mm. Yeah, and that, I don't know, maybe because I just had dinner, and I had, uh, I had water with my dinner, and tasting this, and you know, I say the, the first sip, like with these beers that got these complex flavors, your first sip, you know, you get, you get this aroma, you get the flavor, but the more you drink it, and it, it you know, it coats your throat and everything, now you, you kind of get immersed in the flavor. So once the mug goes up to your mouth and you're still, you know, you're inhaling and breathing, you're getting more of that aroma. As soon as it hits your tongue, you're getting more of that flavor. You're not waiting for a, a back-end flavor to come up and taste it. it it's just always there. It's, it's carbonated. Of course, it's very carbonated. You see, just popping the, oof, popping the cap off of it caused the foam to start <clears throat> gushing out. But like I said, learn from me. If you buy this, be ready. Have your glass ready, or if you pop the top, you got to hurry up and put it to your lips and start drinking some because it's about to come a-gushing. Ah, that's great. Got to be a 10 out of 10. It's got to be a 10 out of 10 because the price, the alcohol content, the flavor... The aroma, everything about this beer is 10 out of 10. Mm. Yeah. So thanks for joining. Thanks for uh, coming back and watching my videos. I promise I'm trying to make each video better than the last one. So hopefully 
you guys have noticed that my early videos were rough, but I was learning, and uh, hopefully I'm getting better. If there's anything you see that I could do better, please comment down below. Good comments, bad comments. I love all comments because I'm here to learn, and I'm here to teach. So I can teach you guys about these beers you've never tried. You can teach me a little bit about making videos. I look forward to the... Uh, I look forward to the comments. So, thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Until then. Ooh, that's going to get me a loopy.